they will get their wish. Take a look. Do you remember Will Sorensen? Your old FBI squeeze? Yeah. Oh, uh, you're so lucky I came along and saved you from that life. Wait, you saved me? Come on, even you have to admit he was boring. Like, C-SPAN boring. You know, what makes you think that I would be with Sorensen if you hadn't come along? All right, where would you be? If you weren't around to distract me? Yeah. Um, I would probably be captain of my own precinct. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Had I not been bewitched by you, I think by now I'd be working on my second Pulitzer. So we're bad for each other, huh? The worst. Oh. I guess they're not. Stana Caddy joins us now. Finally, it's going to happen. What yes. can you tell us about the wedding? Uh, the name of the episode is Time of Our Lives. It's written by Terrietta Miller. And um, basically what happens is Castle uh, and Beckett are on their way to solving another mystery when Castle gets um, transported into an alternate reality in which uh -huh. he realizes what it would be like if he and Beckett had never met. Um, the whole gang is in the episode and Castle sees how their meeting has changed everyone's lives and it kind of catapults him into finally tying the knot with her at the very end of this you episode. Finally, and you yeah. know, your, your fans are already jumping way ahead. Yeah. We got one question on Twitter from Jess. She wants to know, do you think Beckett is ready for a baby now? What kind of mom will she be? I think she's gonna be an amazing mom. One baby? Why just one? Let's keep going, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a few plot twists coming up, and I guess we're going to see what married life is like. Yeah, yeah. The next episode afterwards uh, is Once Upon a Time in the West. It's written by Terrence Winter, and uh, Castle and Beckett have their honeymoon in a dude ranch. Um, and that was a lot of fun to film. We so shot that in the Universal back lot and got to dress up in cowboy costumes and ride in wagons and so on. Well, we can't wait for all that. I know uh, you also have some stuff going on outside of the show, a lot going on. Tell us about this alternative travel project. Yeah. You said you want people to drive a little less. Well, yeah. I started an initiative called the Alternative Travel Project, which is aimed at encouraging people to go car free for at least one day. And the idea behind it was that we could achieve some really wonderful benefits, environmental, social, and um, health wise, by just making a different choice at least once a week, once a month, or even once a year um, and so we help educate people and uh, bring the information to uh, smaller communities and governments um, to provide the kind of infrastructure to make that possible and just a little bit can help if everybody yes. does it yeah great Stana Caddick, thanks very much big episode of Castles tonight at 10 9 east, 10 eastern 9 central right here on ABC and coming up Matthew McC